Hello Wargamers and welcome to another Invasive Wargaming Battle Report. Uh, today we're at the Sage's Shop and uh, playing 1500 points of Tau using the Highlander format uh, versus Chaos Space Marines. Uh, the mission is Big Guns Never Tire with six objectives. There's one in here, one in here, one there, one here, and one over here. So uh, check the liner notes for complete army lists. Um, and I'll see if I can seize. Right now my opponent is going first. And I do not. So on to turn one. All right, halfway through turn one, uh, the Chaos Marines have uh, basically moved forward here. So all three land, or not land raiders, <laughs> rhinos moved up. Um, the Demon Prince, which was joined by uh, Spawn, moved up, uh, as did this unit of bikers. And then that just leaves these uh, two blobs of cultists hanging out uh, in the back to hold on to objectives. And, uh, of course, the Mahler Fiend moved up as well. So, on to bottom of turn one. All right, bottom of turn one. Uh, basically, what happened was Riptide moved up, and uh, other than that, not a lot of shooting. Or not a lot of movement, lots of shooting. Uh, the command unit threw down some Markalites on this uh, Rhino here, which the Riptide used to lay down two uh, Melta shots using his uh, Nova Reactor. Uh, now, of course, even though he's Ballistic Skill 9, he still missed one of his Melta shots. So uh, that. Um, was enough though to take out the rhino, um, got explodes result, and uh, did a couple wounds to the marines inside with that. Uh, then he continued to lay down a pie plate right here, which uh, did not benefit from the markalite, seeing as it uh, didn't have a target anymore, right? The rhino was gone. So that scattered, um, but still uh, took out all but one of the marines and did one uh, hull point to the rhino. Um, the rest of the crisis team uh, was able to put uh, two hull points on this rhino, uh, which was finished off by a missile from the sky ray. Then the broadsides were able to take out um, most of the uh, marine unit there. Other than that, um, not a lot happened. Still waiting to see if uh, I can kill enough stuff before it reaches my lines in order to avoid combat, but I think that's probably unlikely, especially with these guys back here. So, moving on to turn two. All right, halfway through turn two, um, again, the Chaos Wave advanced. The Demon Prince uh, left the spawn unit, moved over here. He's uh, jump infantry right now or jump monstrous creature rather. Um, the Mahler Fiend moved up, charged my Riptide, would have taken three um, hull points in the charge from Overwatch, but made his demon save. So this guy made it in combat with the Riptide and did two wounds, enough to win combat, and uh, was able to catch him in the end of combat. So no more Riptide. Makes me very sad top layer. Um, but moving on to bottom of turn two. Let's see, I have two units of crew coming in, maybe. Nope. <laughs> and then uh, a Remora. Remora comes in, so that's good. All right, on to bottom of turn two. All right, bottom of turn two. Remora came in and uh, was able to wreck this Rhino. The command unit uh, split fired the um, crisis suits shot at uh, the spawn and the marker lights shot at the demon prince here. Um, I got landed five hits and used all of them to um, call in homing seeker missiles which um, took care of him. Then the broadside shot at the Mahler Fiend and uh, took that last hull pine off. Um, other than that a few smart missile system shots at these guys over here uh, failed to remove any models at all and uh, so yeah this is the board at bottom of turn two all right halfway through turn three um, basically these guys moved out over here took some pot shots at the remora were unable to do anything but in a stunning 
uh, turn of poor fortune. Both this plasma guy and the plasma guy over here uh, got hot and killed themselves. Um, so there was that. Um, otherwise, everybody else moved forward over here. The spawn um, and the bikers were charging. Um, the bikers went first. Uh, I elected not to overwatch because they needed 10 inches, and luckily for me, they did not make their charge. Then um, the spawn charged the broadsides and uh, everything overwatched and was able to um, take out the spawn and the charge. So, uh, getting on to bottom of turn three, here's the board. All right, uh, turn three, we decided to call it. Uh, basically, uh, these guys were able to pretty much wipe up the biker unit, um, save for one guy. Uh, that was without shooting the broadsides or either vehicle. Um, and the remora tried to take out that one guy that one lone uh space marine hoping that that would prevent him from scoring something at the end of the game but uh the remora completely whiffed so that didn't happen but uh it was a good game uh, a lot of fun you guys really should check out the color scheme on these chaos space marines they're really quite something i love the contrast between the the light armor and the the green um corrosion it's really nice so um yep so thanks for watching uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below and happy wargaming